For years now, scientists who study Alzheimer's disease have acknowledged an increase in seizures in patients, but didn't focus much attention on them. That's changing. Ursula Perry shares some new information on how the frequency and the timing of those seizures may give researchers more insight into how this disease can progress. Scott and Susie Plakin had what Scott calls a fairy tale marriage. But after three decades and six children, the Plakins were dealt a crushing blow. Doctors diagnosed Susie with Alzheimer's. She was only 53. For several months, I couldn't even tell my kids that they were likely going to lose their mom in three to five years because Alzheimer's is fatal 100% of the time. He scaled back his legislative duties to care for Susie until her death in 2018. He says initially he had no idea what Susie would face, including those sudden dangerous falls. And I found her laying on her side in a seizure state with a pool of blood about this big coming out from, from her head and I didn't know what it was. What can happen in the patients with Alzheimer's disease is uh, essentially a change in the structure of their brain. Those brain and nerve cell changes can lead to seizures. Now, a study of 300,000 U.S. veterans over the age of 55 shows seizures were associated with twice the risk for developing dementia between one and nine years later. Dr. Laird was not involved in the newest research, but she says at the very least, clinicians need to carefully treat seizures and prepare caregivers. If the seizures are active enough and disruptive enough or put them at risk uh, to get hurt, uh, you have to kind of prioritize to that. Representative Plakin says every scientific finding may bring doctors closer to new treatments and someday a cure. And that's what I'm looking forward to that day. Representative Plakin continues to honor his late wife, Susie, by continuing to advocate for Alzheimer's research as well as awareness. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.